Hi guys, how are you? I just wanted to come on real quick and talk to you about how I'm able to stop eating when I'm full and honor my fullness because a lot of people that I talk to, I find that they struggle um, getting to this point or um, they struggle because they go past that point. And it's, it's actually a lot easier than it seems, but if you're first starting out with intuitive eating and trying to honor your hunger and fullness, yeah, it can definitely be a little bit of a struggle because you know anything new that you try um, is usually not that easy to begin with. But you know, with practice, like with anything, it gets easier. So if you're coming on, please say hello so I know you're here. And if you happen to catch the replay, hashtag replay, so I can say hello to you as well. So I was just thinking about how like, like I just had, I just came home, I just had a beautiful beach day. I'm so lucky that I live um, by such a beautiful beach and in such a beautiful community. And I was feeling like a snack when I got home and I wasn't worried about, you know, anything other than just what I was feeling like having. And to me, like food is food at this point. And I decided, you know, I kind of, I feel like an apple, you know, it's a warm day. I just want an apple. So I had an apple, but you know what? I'm also going to have some chocolate too. And I have this really nice piece of dark chocolate right here that I'm going to have. And um, not only is it chocolate, but it's also full of tons of health benefits as well. And the thing about when you're choosing foods to eat, you know, you want to choose foods that are nutrient dense. Of course, you know, you want to um, think about your health as well, because with intuitive eating, a lot of people think that there's that myth that you don't have to worry about your health. You just eat whatever the heck you want. Well, of course, your health is important, right? We all want to be as healthy as we can be. But within that, you're not, you know, um, held down by all these rules and restrictions. So when you're not restricted, then you don't feel like you want to go crazy or that your um, brain is going to start thinking about all the things that you can't have or things that are labeled as bad. Okay. So like for myself, you know, I came home and I was just like, all right, you know, what do I want? You know, I could have had anything, you know, anything that's in the house, but I just felt like an apple. Okay. If I wanted some popcorn, I would have had some popcorn. If I want pizza, like if you saw my post from the other day, I had some pizza. So it all balances out and it all makes for an overall healthier person because mentally your mind doesn't want to be going crazy and craving things all the time, right? You don't want to be feeling like that. So, I mean, it's just about being able to get to that point where when something is not restricted to you all the time, you're going to eat it in a way that you enjoy it where I just ate, you know, I ate my apple, I'm gonna eat my chocolate and I'm gonna enjoy it. And actually, you know what, you, you kind of slow down because you're not scarfing food down because you're not feeling like, oh, it's your last meal because, you know, you're eating something that's forbidden. You know, anything is on the table and you slow down and you enjoy it. And then you get to a point where you're satisfied. You know, that satisfaction factor has to be there. And when you're satisfied, you're good, you know, you feel good. You feel good mentally and physically. And that's how you know that you're eating in a way that feels good to your body and you're honoring your fullness at that point. So I just wanted to throw that out there real quick. It was just something I was just thinking about as I just came home and I wanted to share that with you. And if you have any questions, if you're not sure about how to know when you're hungry or um, to be able to stop when you're full or if you're not sure um, you get past that point, well, um, before you know it's too late kind of thing and then you're feeling too full and you wish you hadn't eaten as much as you had um, please if it help you know put a question in the comments for me or reach out to me personally I'm happy to answer your questions for you and help you along in the process because you know going through a you know lifetime of dieting and all this restriction it's no fun for one I know I've done it for many many years and now that I'm on this road to just freedom from all these rules and restrictions, you know, what a weight has been just lifted off me and it's so much nicer and it's so much calmer for my body too, for my body and mind. And now I just enjoy whatever I want in still while giving my body some nice nutrient dense foods, you know, for health, of course and enjoying some of the foods that maybe are not so nutrient dense as well and being able to 
feel good overall while meeting all of my goals. So I just wanted to throw that out there to you and tell you that if you do struggle, it's okay. You can get there. You can get to the point where you want to. It just takes a little time. You just have to be a little patient with yourself. Of course, always be kind to yourself and compassionate as well. And if you have any questions whatsoever, that's what I'm here for. Just reach out. So I hope you all have a very beautiful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.